Hello and welcome to today's myminimaths.co.uk video tutorial. And today we're going to be dividing three and four digit numbers by a single digit divisor. A divisor is just the number we're dividing by. So first of all, on to question one. So we have 816 and we're dividing that by four. Okay, just something to remember that if we write a number as a fraction, it's exactly the same as a division question, which is really important to remember. And you'll probably find that the majority, uh, most division questions, uh, my mini maths will be written as a fraction. And hopefully this will help you become familiar uh, with that way of writing it. So let's have a little look at our short method here. Some of you call uh, this the bus stop method. Doesn't matter what you call it, whatever you feel comfortable with. So. Let's write out 816, and we're going to divide that by 4. So, first of all, how many 4s fit into 8 here? Well, that's going to be 2. How many 4s fit into the 1 here? Well, we can't fit any. It's too small. So we place a 0 here, and we haven't used this 1 at all. So we make sure... We carry that over to the next value, which is 16. So how many 4s fit into 16? Well, we know our 4 times table, 4 4s are 16. So that's going to be 4 for a final answer of 204. And next we're on to question 2, which is 372. And I'm dividing that by 3. So if I place that into my short formal written method down here. So that's 372 and I'm going to divide that by 3. So how many 3's fit into 3? Well that's 1. How many 3's fit into 7? Well 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 3 is 9 so that's too big so it's going to be 2 3's are 6. And then I've got one left over from that 7. So I'm going to bring that and carry that over to the next value. Then 3's into 12 go 4. For a final answer of 124. And next we're on to question 3. Which is 4,575 divided by 5. OK, so let's place that into the formal method below. So 4,575, and we're going to divide that by 5. So, first of all, how many 5s fit into 4? Well, we can't fit it, it's too big, so nothing. And we're going to move, carry this over to the next value, which is now makes it 45. So how many 5s? Fit into 45, well that's 9, with nothing left over. Then 5's into 7, go 1, with 2 to carry over. And then finally, 5's into 25, go 5, for a final answer of 915. And finally, we're on to question 4. So we have 2,682. And we're going to divide that by 2. Now, because we're dividing by 2, we're just halving the number. And most of you, I think, will be quite comfortable to do that in your head. So what would be half of 2,000? Well, that would be 1,000. Half of 600 would be 300. Half of eight, uh, 80 would be 40, of course. And half of the two units would be 1. For a final answer of 1,341. But of course, just to check, you could also do it in the standard formal method. So 2,682. And we're going to divide that by 2. So how many 2's fit into 2? Well, that's 1. Nothing left over. How many 2's fit into 6? That's 3. How many 2's fit into 8? Well, that's 4. And how many 2's fit into 2 again? So that's just one. And as you can see, it doesn't matter which way we do it, we get the same answer of 1,341. Thank you very much for listening today, and I look forward to speaking to you again soon. Take care.